Hello there. This video, we are going to talk about WD My Passport hard drive, the printed circuit board repair, and the disk data recovery. This picture shows the detailed information of this drive. Inside of the case, it is a 2.5 inches hard drive. This picture shows the printed circuit board of this hard drive. Three possible problems on this hard drive. 1. SATA to USB adapter problem. 2. Printed circuit board problem. 3. Hard drive problem. Three common methods to fix a hard drive printed circuit board. 1. Clean the contacts. 2. Swap the printed circuit board. 3. Repair the printed circuit board. 2. Common methods to fix printed circuit board problem. 1. Repair the printed circuit board. 2. Swap the printed circuit board. Repair the printed circuit board. This picture shows the basic components and their functions on the printed circuit board. You may take this picture as a reference to fix your own printed circuit board. This picture shows how to connect the USB-only WD hard drive to SATA port. This trick is useful when the USB chip is broken or you want to bypass the USB controller chip to control the hard drive through the SATA port directly. Swap the printed circuit board. There are two steps to swap the printed circuit board. 1. Find the correct donor board. 2. Printed circuit board firmware transfer. The printed circuit board swap step 1. Find the correct donor printed circuit board. This picture shows where to locate the hard drive model number. This picture shows where to locate the printed circuit board number. Go to www.hdd-parts.com. In the search box, input the hard drive model number and the printed circuit board number, then search. The correct donor board is found. This picture illustrated how to do the printed circuit board firmware transfer. What is the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. Three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. One, the printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. 2. Hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It has nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. 3. 
we can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our printed circuit board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not do the printed circuit board from a transfer? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board from a transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer cannot detect the hard drive. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? how to swap your PCB board. Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture shows how can we help you to find the donor PCB board for your hard drive. 1. Use your cell phone to take pictures of your hard drive and its PCB board. 2. Email the pictures to hddparts at gmail.com. 3. You will receive the donor PCB board information within 24 hours. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. 2. We fix the PCB board. 3. We ship back the PCB board to the clients. There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures because different devices use different ways to read a hard drive. Sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hardware PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. If the hard drive disk assembly is damaged, 
we can do disk data recovery to recover the data from the disks. The common symptoms of hard drive disk assembly failure are the following. 1. Hard drive makes weird sound. 2. Spin nicely but no access to any computer. 3. Hard drive no spin. Tips. If the storage configured as mirrored hard drives, you can take the bent hard drive out, then put same size or bigger size another hard drive into the bay, and then the storage will mirror the data to the new hard drive automatically. If this trick doesn't work, that means the two mirrored hard drives are both damaged, or the storage was configured as read zero, that means the two hard drives are different. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.